Hello, I'm Bo Grzeski. Today we will be exploring Google Meet for students. It's a website and an app that can be used for video conferencing. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right-hand corner. Before you do get started Google Meet, please check out our previous Google Meet videos such as getting started with Google Meet and also going deeper with Google Meet. Here's how our students can get started with Google Meet. One thing your teacher may have done is created the Google Meet via their Google Calendar, but in order to make that Meet code, they can just hit Add Conferencing and then select the Hangouts Meet. Uh, the teacher can also add some resources like the agenda of what's going to be covered, hyperlink materials. So I'm going to save this and it's going to send that calendar invite to my folks, and then they're going to be able to see how they can access the Meet via that way and join. After your teacher made the Google Calendar event, you should receive an email. It lists the name of the event, uh, what's going to be covered that day, the time-wise. This is where you can click on the link to get into the Google Meet, or you could use your phone, but it's preferred that you click on the link and do it on your device. Uh, the calendar it's going to get saved to, any attachments that may have been attached to it as the agenda, what's going to be covered, and there's a link. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can actually access those documents there or the video clip that I provided. If you're going to be able to go to the meeting, just hit yes. Another thing that your teacher may have done is they may have made a Google Classroom assignment or announcement that includes the link to the Google Meet. Once you click on that Meet link, You'll be prompted to enter in this screen, and on this screen, if you don't want your mic off, which is always good practice, to make sure you turn your mic off before you go in, and you probably also want to turn off your camera before you go in, and then you can hit join now. Another way you can do is by going to meet.google.com, and if you received an invite to it, you can access it right there. And this is the main Meet link page. This is where you're going to see if your camera is turned on or your mic is turned off. I would recommend as a student, always make sure that you turn off your mic before you go into the meeting and always make sure you turn off your camera and then your default Google profile picture will show up. Once you have all those set up, you want to hit join now. If by chance you were invited to the Google Meet and you don't have access to a computer, um, you can also join with your phone but we prefer that you join with your G.ORI account. All you gotta do is for uh, ask your teacher to share the phone number and code with you. So I'm on my phone right now, and I'm going to put this on so we can hear it. I'm gonna call in the number. Welcome to Hangouts Meet. Enter the meeting pin followed by the pound key. Thank you. You are joining a call with one other person. And now you can see that my phone number is in the bottom. So the teacher can now see. So I could be unmuted if I needed to, or I could be removed. As an attendee, I could see that there were some attachments. I could hit my paperclip option here. And I could see the link for it. This was taken back to the video. Um, and this was the document for some virtual meeting tips and tricks that I could use for students. You can always make sure that the captions are turned on. And what that will do is that will take the words that you are saying and turn them on, but you need to make sure your mic is on first. And when your mic is on, it will translate these on for you. If you need them translated to another language, you can right click and go to translate and you can pick another option that you want, a change of languages. If you are at one point you need to present your screen, you would just hit present now. And you can present your entire screen. This would allow for everyone else to see what is on your screen. But you should only do this if the teacher is asking you to do it at that time. And now I'm presenting my screen. So I'm going to hit stop sharing and that will end that for me. And if I need to record the meeting, if I want to access it later, I can always say record meeting. But due to the fact that my teacher recorded, uh, started the meeting, they're going to be one that gets the Google file later. If you have a question for your teacher, use the chat box off to the side. And you can also add in some documents 
that you need to or links but anything that you type in the chat box will appear in the transcript for your teacher if they have it recorded. You can see what other people are in the meeting right now and right now it's just me and if I need to click off of that it will go away. If you have the Google Meet extension for grid view you can see other people's uh, images on there and if you need to turn your mic back on or off you can just hit that. If you need your webcam back on or off you can just hit that and that will turn that right back on for you. And that is basically the Google Meet in a nutshell as a student. When you are all done, make sure you hit the red phone to leave the meeting. And if by accident you need to rejoin, you can do that or you can go back to your home screen. And that will be accessible for you there. Well, that is Google Meet from the student point of view in a nutshell. If you need anything else, please contact DearDis or your digital integration specialist. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.